What up guys, Eagle here, back with day three of Vlogmas. Okay, today's video is, what are the best courses in Colorado? Front range edition. I don't wanna to get too deep. I, I, there's so many courses in Colorado, and you know, I can't really comment on some on the Western Slope, uh, because you know, one of the main questions I get is, Eagle, I'm coming into the Denver Boulder area, and I wanna know what courses I should play. So, you know, whenever someone asks me that question, I'm going to send them this video. So that's kind of, you know, that's kind of the reason I'm making this. But also, it'll kind of inform you guys if you ever make a trip to Colorado, what courses you should play. So, I'm going to be finding these courses with UDISC. UDISC, if you if you don't know what it is, you've been living under a a rock, or you know, if you throw all Dismania and MD3. Um, UDISC is the best way to find courses, keep score. Know, look at scores for the Disc Golf Pro Tour, PJ National Tour, or any major event. So, you know, if you don't have UDisc, go download it. What are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna be screen recording my phone and I'm gonna be taking you through some of my favorite courses in the state front range. Okay, so we're gonna go to the first course and it's the first course that I ever played and that is Harlow Platts. I've played more rounds on this course than any other course, you know, and it's, it's, it's not the best course in the world, but it's my favorite, uh, just on a sentimental, uh, just according to sentimental value, it, it's the course that I, I learned to play on, and it's the course that I, I still go to and find so much enjoyment from. Uh, as you can see, it's, it has a beautiful view of the Flatirons, the mountains, um, that's a view of uh, looking out over hole three. Just a grassy course, nothing nothing too crazy. You have a few, uh, you know, three, 360 to, to 400 foot holes, but it's just, it's just special. If you're in Boulder, I don't think, uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you just play a quick round there. You know, in no way, shape or form, anyone can say this course is bad because it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Can't recommend Harlow enough. The other course to play if you're in Boulder is Valmont Park. It's the 18 hole course. It's, if you're used to playing anywhere else but Colorado, you're gonna probably look at this course and be like, what the heck, this is not good. But it's a fun ace run course. And for the people of the Boulder Disc Golf Club in Colorado, we've learned to love it. Uh, I know I love it. It's just, it, it's a, a good community feel. It's fun uh, place to go practice your your shorter shots. I go there to, to practice my approach shots and putting and things like that. So I definitely find a lot of value. Uh, the first seven on this course are uh, a little bit more technical and then it opens up um, uh, to the back half where it's pretty, pretty, uh, it's not very technical, but you know, a bunch of ace runs, there's two or three holes where they're over 300 feet. So you can open up a little bit. Uh, so that's, that's the two main courses in Boulder. I'm adding this in. You got to go play Wonderview if you're in Boulder. It's an 18 hole course in the mountains of Boulder. Private, you got to get a hold of them, but definitely play Wonderview. I was playing the video and my dad heard that I didn't mention it. I felt really bad, uh, mostly because it just didn't pop up on UDISC or was out of my view. So go play Wonderview. Interlochen or that's Superior, Interlochen is a, is a fun little course. I uh, played a lot of rounds here. Uh, it's a it's kind of a technical little nine hole course, you know. The this you can see there's a there's hole hole number three. It says hole four, but that's three. Uh, is with the the canal on the right side, and it slopes to the left to the OB. So you know you gotta be good with uh, speed control and uh, your putters on that course. Um, going to Longmont, there's there's actually no. I'm gonna tell you about Erie. It's a new course, the Coal Creek Disc Golf Course. It's Disc Golf Park Baskets, great view of the mountains. Pretty short, but you know, you get some good elevation there, pretty wide open, but that's a fun little course that I just, uh, a fun new course that just got put in. Two main courses in Longmont that are fun. Lou Miller Park, that is the home course of Colt Montgomery, Disc Golf Pro Tour winner. You probably heard of him. Lone House Signature Disc Owner. You know, Lou Miller is a classic course, played that many times, can recommend that one. Clark Centennial Park, another fun one in Longmont. 
you know, playing uh, nine at uh, Sen Ten and then playing uh, a nine at Lou, that kind of gives you a, you know, a good variety of shots. Lou Miller is a little bit more open with some water hazards. Clark Centennial has this creek running through it. Um, and it's just an overall fun course. There's not really any real media. All right, since I'm heading in this direction, I'm gonna tell you the courses that I think you should play if you're up in Fort Collins. Uh, the, three, the three courses are Adora Park. It's kind of the, the staple, everyone's favorite in Fort Collins. It has good variety, good distance. You know, average hole is probably around 330, 360 feet. So, uh, you know, not a, not a very short course but good variety, some good elevation, technicality. Definitely hit up Adora if you're in Fort Collins. And then a course that I've never played, but I know is good, is the Ultra Disc Golf Park, the Beer Garden. This course is designed by Avery Jenkins, 2009 world champion, and it's just down the street from the Discmania warehouse. It's literally right in front of the Budweiser, uh, or a Budweiser factory, so. I mean that's that's really cool. You're just you can see the pictures right here. Definitely go play that. I know it's I know it's fun. There's uh, some 700 foot holes, but also a good mix of you know some shorter holes, grassy and fun. Another course that I've always enjoyed playing. If you play Adora or if you play the Budweiser course, head over to this little course in this town, Laporte, Cache La Poudre. It's a short nine hole course, but as you can see, super technical, a lot of fun. You know that's a that's a fun place to play, especially uh, to go, go test some uh, new discs you just bought at the the Right Life in town. All right, so now we're gonna get into Denver, where most people end up if they're coming to Colorado. the the two course two of the main courses that uh, I recommend to people coming to Denver are Upper Badlands, Karstens Park. It's it's Camish Park. They need to they need to edit this. Um, great course. A lot of elevation gain, some big shots, uh, but the one issue with this place is it's pretty hard to navigate. So you know, try to find a map. I don't think there is a map, um, but or try to find a tour guide. Uh, but as you can see, it's kind of a park setting, uh, but a lot of elevation, some downhills, uh, some fun shots for sure. And then there's another 18-hole course, pretty much on the same property. Camish Park, Lower Badlands. It's a little bit shorter, uh, not quite as much elevation up and down, so you know a little bit easier to to hike. Uh, you know some of these are still from Upper Badlands, but this is a Lower Badlands hole. Um, another Lower Badlands here. A lot of fun. Uh, the one issue with uh, both Badlands courses, it gets it gets a lot of traffic, but there's not much upkeep by the city, so it can look a little bit rough. Then downtown Denver. You know, there's not really, there's not a whole lot in the, the downtown area. The one is Paco Sanchez. I like this course. The front nine is really good. Uh, it's kind of at a, in a shady part of town, so I recommend uh, going with somebody or at, you know, midday. Uh, the back nine gets really long. You have to walk a ways to get to hole nine, but, you know, front nine, uh, let me see if there's some pictures here, is really solid. Yeah, this is hole one. Um, hole two some there's there's definitely some uh, pretty cool holes out here you know I probably probably try to go to some other courses that I'm gonna say but you know if you're in downtown Denver and want to play course uh, Paco is fun uh, and Arvada one of the most bit probably the busiest course in the in the US or it has to be at least top 10 is Johnny Roberts disc golf course this course has many memories, especially in the old layout where I used to go play Sunday doubles every weekend with my dad. It's a technical course, played along a creek, uh, helped me develop somewhat of a touch game because in Colorado there's so many just open bomber holes uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but this course is uh, this course is uh, a little bit more technical. But now now it's basically a course that's everything's under 250 feet, a lot of ace runs. You should go. You know, the average player should go out here and shoot, you know, at least uh, under par for the most part. It doesn't, it's not too difficult, um, but definitely worth playing because it is beautiful, uh, well, well upkept park. So Johnny Roberts, 
Definitely, uh, definitely play it if you're looking for a fun little one to play. Okay, uh, Bird's Nest. Bird's Nest is another course I've played so many times because it's only about a, a 20 minute drive from Boulder. It's pretty wide open, but if you wanna go, if you wanna go throw a bunch of shots, Bird's Nest is a place, good mountain views, pretty easy to navigate. Uh, John Bird, who is a Disc Golf Hall of Famer, goes out there and he, he is the, the caretaker on the course. It's pretty open. You know, it's definitely nothing too special, but you know, maybe I'm just speaking from, uh, you know, speaking from a point where, uh, you know, it's a sentimental course for me. So I definitely enjoy going out to Bird's Nest. I played there last week, so I, I like it a lot. Next up, a, a fun course is Farringer Ranch. Yeah, Farringer Ranch Park, similar to Bird's Nest, very similar feel, um, some elevation. See, so you kind of get the vibe. A lot of the front range courses are pretty wide open, but you know, this is this was like in Denver. But you know, if you go out here, it is some fun. You get views of the mountains, so that's that's all good. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about some of the best courses on the front range right here. Probably some of the best courses in Colorado. So see Farringer, see this little old road called 285. Well. This road goes into the mountains, 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 and then right here, that's Bluebird Putting Course. That's a fun one because it's it's the precursor to Beaver Ranch. Beaver Ranch is probably my favorite and the most challenging course in Colorado, or at least one of them. Just the granddaddy. It's a pay-to-play course. Uh, they just put in Innova 28 di chain disc catchers for the long pins. There's some shorter baskets too, so you can kind of pick your poison if you want to be challenged, play the, the long pins. You know, shout out to the, the guys up there. They're super friendly. Um, they got a pro shop, and it's really just a disc golf experience there. Like local, local elk. There's an elk eating a disc. So total Colorado experience here. Technical, uh, a lot of elevation, concrete tee pads. Go play Beaver Ranch. If you're in Colorado, you know, let's say starting April through October, Beaver Ranch is the course that you need to play. But there's also a few other courses. Um, go up the road a little bit further. Let's just say this Beaver Ranch is probably about 40, 40 minutes outside of downtown Denver, maybe a little bit less and Bailey is probably about an hour. Beaver Ranch is probably about a half hour from downtown Denver and Bailey maybe 45 minutes to an hour. So both of them are highly worth playing. Where is Bailey? Bailey, you've probably seen this. Hole number one, absolutely epic. Looking out over uh, just this amazing valley with some Colorado 14ers in the background. I believe that's Mount Evans. Just another Colorado mountain experience. Not that far from Denver, definitely worth the day trip. Another pay to play course. You got disc golf park baskets, disc golf park tee pads. Overall, just, just an absolutely blast of a time. And then the last one that I'm gonna talk about on the, the 285 corridor is Bear Mountain. Shout out to Dan Hart. Just another, another Colorado classic absolutely breathtaking it's a little bit flatter than the the other the other courses so it's a little bit more fun to play you can contact dan in advance and camp on the property i know a lot of people here do that and really enjoy themselves took my girlfriend up there this year twice and you know we really enjoyed playing this uh, it's one of her favorite courses she's played in colorado so bear mountain it's great i actually have coverage on this channel of the, the barely a tournament. So go go back in my uh, video feed and you can see uh, Bear Mountain and Bailey. Uh, I play it with uh, Nick Hansen, Lance Trott, and Colton Montgomery. So definitely go back and and check that out. Okay, heading na to name a few other courses. Uh, once we go down south, uh, you got uh, in Elizabeth. There's a really fun one called Prickly Pines. It's a it's a fun. 18 holer the front nine is pretty wooded technical you know this is a this is kind of a, a one that's far out of the way but if you're if you've played the other courses and want something new definitely go try prickly pines and then as we move further down south into the colorado springs area 
my favorite course in the Colorado Springs area is not Cumberland Green, it's Widefield Park. Some mature trees that plays along a creek, technical shots. Probably my favorite in, in the Springs area. I haven't played some of the other ones like uh, the Aviary or what's the other one? Quick Way, that looks like a private course. Rampart Park, you know, I I don't get down there very, very often. So there could be some better, some better courses, but uh, I'm just going off based on what I know. Woodland Park, just uh, just west of Colorado Springs, you got the Shining Mountain course. The Beast at Shining Mountain is a massive course on a ball golf course in the mountains. Really cool. Shout out to Joey Tamale. He's texting me right now. Uh, Serenity Pines. It's just above the the, the Shining Mountain course. It's a, a course uh, that's a more wooded. Okay, Joey. I should have put my phone on airplane mode. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, te more technical course with the golf course down below. I've never played this, but I've been, it's been on the list and I hear a lot of good things. Okay, one more course in Southern Colorado. One of the, the favorites amongst the Colorado disc golfers is Pueblo City Park. The Colorado State Championships has been at this course many a times and I, I always get excited when I get to play Pueblo. Big, big course, technical lines, a lot of opportunities for rollers, big shots, and you know, a, almost every shot in your bag. So it's always a, a fun, a fun place to go. Highly recommend Pueblo. Okay, so those are the main courses on the front range. And you know, this video is about 17 minutes right now. So I'm going to name just a few little bonus ones, other courses that I really enjoy in Colorado. And I think you should go play if you have, you know, the resources to do so. All right, some two courses that are really fun. That's home of the, one of the other A tiers in Colorado is the High Plains Challenge. Optimist and Pessimist. One's a disc golf park. Both of them, uh, you know, you're you're not really getting the Colorado experience because you're out east. You're on the Great Plains. You don't even see the mountains, but they're two they're two pretty fun courses. And then if you go way east, if you're like coming in from Nebraska, if you're driving in from like uh, I don't know Middle America, the the Midwest, Northern Midwest, go play Pioneer Park in Sterling super fun course with uh you know good good technical tunnel shots park style shots that's a cool one if you're if you're driving your way in denver uh, then a course that a destination course red feather lake sundance trail mountain course it's great if you got family in fort collins want to make a trip up to the mountains go camping I know there was a, a massive fire up there. I don't know if this course got affected. I hope not because uh, this is a lot of Colorado disc golfers' uh, favorite courses. Um, this one is so far removed. Golden Eagle. Oh no. So I'm looking at this. Golden Eagle disc golf course, Buckhorn Canyon. Beautiful. I, I say beautiful in every course because I, I just love Colorado. It's so, it's amazing. You see these uh, homemade baskets you know, rubber tee pads, great course just to go camping on and just get away from everything. You'll feel like you're, you're in a, in a Western movie with uh you know, you're going back in time when you're going up there. But I see that Cameron peak fire burn area, hope Wes and everyone are safe. So hopefully that course is, is still there. That would, that would stink if that was uh, not there anymore. Okay. Uh, another little bonus course is Ghost Town, shout out to Brian. It's always been a fun course. It's super quirky, really short, but you know, it's it's in this old little mining village that you know you play through buildings like over these little ravines. It's it's a cool experience. You'll get to meet Brian, who's uh you know this this kind this cool guy who lives up there, a uh, little this, this mountain man. So recommend Ghost Town, and then Dylan, Lake Dylan super picturesque course and you've probably seen pictures i think uh innova featured this course in their calendar just insane views one kind of downfall of the course is you have to hike like a mile to get to to 
hole number one, but that's all good. If you're hiking in the mountains of Colorado. Frisk, Frisco's a cool course, peak one. Uh, pretty open, pretty crowded. A lot of people play that in the summer. But, you know, if you're in the area, play Frisco. It's the home of the peak one, peak one tournament. Tournament that I played a bunch of times. Okay, and the last course I will say before getting too deep into the mountains is Colorado Mountain College, Leadville. I have a lot of great memories here because Leadville is kind of the gateway to the high country. Uh, me and my dad always used to go camp in the summer, play disc golf in the high country in the mountains. And as you can see, you got Mount Massive, a Colorado 14er in the back there. You can see like, you can see probably like five or six 14ers from, from this course. And it just feels, it just feels awesome being up there. This is, this is Leadville. It's over 10,000 feet. It's the highest town in the U S believe it or not. And there's a disc golf course there. So definitely go up there, make a trip. I, you won't regret it. Courses, uh, a cool technical front nine, and then it's a little bit more sagebrush and desert like in the back, but you'll be, you'll be happy if you're up there. I guarantee that. Okay guys. Well that, those were kind of my go-to courses. Some Colorado people are probably yelling at their screen right now saying, you didn't say this course. You didn't say that course. These are the courses that I would recommend the courses I've played. And I'm sure a lot of other courses have gone in, but since, since I spend a lot of time outside of Colorado, I don't really have the time to, you know, go play every single course that gets installed. Uh, I mostly just play Harlow Platts and Valmont most of the time, maybe occasional round at Interlochen. So those are my picks and I hope you enjoyed guys. Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. Oh, wait one sec. Okay. We need to, uh, we need to do the giveaway. Just give me one, one sec. And the giveaway winner from day number two of Vlogmas was Matheson Ingham. And the question I asked, what is the most beautiful course you have ever played? And Matheson wrote, I live in Houston, so not many beautiful courses here, but most beautiful I've gotten to play would have to be Roy G in Austin. So calming to walk those woods right next to a cool city. I completely agree, Matheson. Absolutely love Roy G. I wish that course was on the circuit, but whenever I'm in Austin, I, I definitely go out of the way to play that. I forgot to put this in. Matheson, message me on Instagram or Facebook to claim your prize. Alrighty, so Matheson won this little this little link with uh, some of these goodies. Uh, we're gonna get into today's giveaway that I'll announce tomorrow. I'm gonna be giving away a Primal Run Origin. The Origin is a super cool, understable mid-range with a ton of glide. Definitely a disc that Disc Mania has needed for a long time. So. Let me think of a question. Okay, how about if you could eat any, <laughs> no, not that question. Okay, I couldn't think of anything creative. So I'm just gonna ask you, what is your favorite cartoon slash anime show you have ever seen? It also could be a movie, it just has to be animated. So, post your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below to have a chance to win this origin. Thank you guys for watching this video, and until next time, keep on dreaming. Peace.